like school supplies for our annual drive it will go to July 30th. So if you can take school supplies, please place them in the bus containers in the gathering space. Nice conference are in the gathering space today. Information of the organization. Um, I just put in my 500. Okay, registration forms for PSR classes are available in the gathering space also, so we're getting close to back to school. So please fill those out for your kiddos. And then join us Tuesday, August 22nd at 6 p.m. for a fam Parish Family Potluck Mill. After we share dinner, we will distribute copies of the book, Becoming Eucharistic People, taking the first step to discern how, as a parish family, we become what we receive at the altar, that is self That will start, um, that will be on August 22nd. This is part of the Eucharistic revival that's going on in the United States. Okay, if you're interested in being an altar server, please see Tom Lacey in the gathering space after Mass today, and he'll have more information for you, okay? A why or have to try that all four shoes. <laughs> this one seems to be working the best. All right, um, we have a year old birthday back here. Hey. <laughs> Other back here, when's your birthday? Today, happy birthday. You're more than two. <laughs> Is that it? No, there's one back here. Where? She's being shy, but. Oh, your daughter? Her birthday was on Friday, and she turned seven. Seven on Friday. Happy birthday. <laughs> All right, any. Melba, when's your birthday? birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> All right. One more. more. I'm not done. Well, we were already over here. <laughs> Casey? It's my turn now. It's your birthday? It's my anniversary. Anniversary. Yeah. anniversary. 12 years I mean. today. 12 years today. 12 years. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, no. Let us begin our celebration by singing Bring Forth the Kingdom. You may find it at number 734, number 734. Please stand. <laughs> Salt for the earth, O oh people, salt for the kingdom of God. Shine the flavor of life, O oh people, life in the kingdom of God. Bring forth the kingdom of mercy, bring forth the kingdom of peace, bring forth the kingdom of justice, bring forth the kingdom of God. You are a light on a hill, O oh people, light for the city of God. Shine so holy and bright, O oh people, shine for the kingdom of God. Bring for the kingdom of mercy, bring for the kingdom of peace, bring for the kingdom of justice, bring for the city of God. 
are a seed of the word, O oh people, bring forth the kingdom of God. Seeds of mercy and seeds of justice grow in the kingdom of God. Bring forth the kingdom of mercy, bring forth the kingdom of peace, bring forth the kingdom of justice, bring forth the city of God. In the name of the Lord and of the Holy Spirit, grace and peace of God our Father. My brothers and sisters, in our first reading today, King Solomon asked God to grant him an understanding heart to judge your people and to distinguish right from wrong. So let us turn to the giver of every good gift and seek his pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the font of wisdom and understanding. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us priceless treasures. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are our joy, our hope, and our salvation. Lord, have mercy. Lord. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, on earth peace, to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, glory to God. Glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, on earth peace, to people of good will. For Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, away the sins of the world have mercy on us you take away the sins of the world receive our prayer you are seated at the right and of the father have mercy on us glory to god glory to god Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, on earth peace, to people of good will. For you alone are the only one, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the most high, Jesus Christ. Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, on earth peace to people of good will. Let us pray. O oh God, those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy. Bestow in abundance your mercy upon us, and grant that with you as our ruler and guide, we may use the good things that pass in such a way as hold fast even now to those that ever endure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever.
A reading from the first book of Kings. The Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream at night. God said, ask something of me and I will give it to you. Solomon answered, O Lord my God, you have made me your servant, king to succeed my father David. But I am a mere youth, not knowing at all how to act. I serve you in the midst of the people whom you have chosen, a people so vast that it cannot be numbered or counted. Give your servant, therefore, an understanding heart to judge your people, and to distinguish right from wrong. For who is able to govern this vast people of yours? The Lord was pleased that Solomon made this request. So God said to him, Because you have asked for this, not for a long life for yourself, not for riches, nor for the life of your enemies, but for understanding so that you may know what is right. I do as you requested. I give you a heart so wise and understanding that there has never been anyone like you up to now. And after you, there will come no one to equal you. The word of the Lord. said, O oh Lord, that my part is to keep your words. The law of your mouth is to me more precious than thousands of gold and silver pieces. O oh Lord, I love your
A reading from St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, we know that all things work for good for those who love God, who are called according to his purpose. For those he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son, so that he might be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters. And those he predestined, he also called, and those he called, he also justified, and those he justified, he also glorified. The word of the Lord. Mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure buried in a field, which a person finds and hides again, and out of joy goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant searching for fine pearls. When he finds a pearl of great price, he goes and sells all that he has and buys it. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a net thrown into the sea which collects fish of every kind. When it is full, they haul it ashore and sit down to put what is good into buckets. What is bad, they throw away. Thus it will be at the end of the age. The angels will go out and separate the wicked from the righteous and throw them into the fiery furnace where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Do you understand all these things? They answered, yes. And he replied, then every scribe who has been instructed in the kingdom of heaven is like the head of a household who brings from his storeroom both the new and the old. The Gospel of the Lord. Amen. Jesus is talking about the kingdom of heaven and he is just discussing it with his disciples and he asks his disciples if they understand them and they say yes and then he says the kingdom of heaven is like the head of a household who brings from his storeroom both the new and the old does that make any sense to you not really i had to look it up too <laughs> so what that means is jesus is saying that um the scribes are like the, the leaders, the 12 apostles, the 12 disciples. And, and also in Matthew's gospel, it's also the leaders of the early Christian community. And he's telling them what Jesus is saying is that in order to understand the kingdom of heaven, we have to understand scripture. And to under, order to understand scripture, we have to understand what Jesus was teaching, the gospels. That's the new. Jesus' interpretation of the Old Testament, the law and the prophets, that's the old. So basically Jesus is teaching them and us, this is how we understand our faith. This is how we understand our scriptures, our Bible. Through the lens of Jesus, through his revelation, we don't throw out the Old Testament, we still have the Old Testament, but we understand and put our faith in the kingdom of heaven through the eyes of Jesus by what he taught through his revelation. So that's what that means. And that helps us to understand Old Testament. 
that helps us to understand revelation from Christ. And in the Old Testament, we hear about Solomon, King Solomon. He followed King David. King Solomon was given the, the, the question of asking for whatever he wants. You know, we would love God to say that to us, wouldn't we? I'm going to give you whatever we want, not just three wishes, not like a genie, but more than a genie. But Solomon was wise, and he asked for understanding, an understanding heart, so that he could judge between good and evil. That's a precursor to Christ, because King Solomon was human, and he was a good king for most of his reign, but he faltered towards the end. And King Solomon ended up falling into the temptations and ended up getting in trouble. Jesus is not. Jesus is the one that has the most understanding and merciful heart, and he judges good and evil. And he gives us an idea of what this kingdom of heaven is like in the future and even now. We can live in this kingdom of heaven here on earth if we understand and live it. If we choose good constantly and see good in this world. So Jesus gives three examples. The kingdom of heaven is like a, a treasure buried in a field. Okay, who buries a treasure in a field? Nobody today, but in the day of them, they did. Because their houses were not, you know, they didn't have ring alarms, they didn't have all these cameras and everything, and they, they would lose things and have people rob them a lot. So they would bury their valuables in their field, because nobody would go into their fields. And so that's why Jesus uses this, this example. If you find valuables in that field, then you're going to do everything you can to buy that field. So that value is, is, is heaven. And you're going to do everything you can to get it. The kingdom of heaven is like a great pearl, like the most perfect pearl, if that's what you're into. Then the last one is a little bit more difficult. It's when um, throwing a net into the sea. And then you, you, when you throw it, you know, we just, we're just getting through Discovery Shark Week, right? <laughs> um, and, you know, when they throw those nets in, you know, you get all kinds of stuff. So the good fish, they keep the, the bad ones, they just throw back or... In Jesus' example, you know, they throw it away into a fiery furnace. But, you know, we could look at that as like Jesus is going to give us the option to choose good or evil, but we want to be a good fish, don't we? We don't want to be that bad fish going in the fiery furnace. But a better way to look at this is as you go through your life, look at in your life what are you doing that's good and what are you doing that's not good. So the bad fish could be your bad habits. The bad fish could be your lack of patience. Your bad fish could be your selfishness. And as you throw those into the fiery furnace and make your changes in your, your own conceptions of, of good and evil, that's what we're called to do, to grow and learn. Nobody is perfect except for Christ. So when we are constantly evaluating how do our actions affect others? Does it bring peace and joy? Or does it bring anguish and hurt and pain? That's how we can live in this kingdom of God, by living and finding that peace, by choosing the good more and more as we age. So think about, think about this this week. In order to understand the kingdom of heaven, once we leave this earth, we really do need to experience it here on earth too. So do you experience the kingdom of heaven? Where do you experience that? It could be the birth of a child. Or if you're a grandparent, it could be the birth of a child, which is a little bit better than the actual mother. It could be you know, that 30 seconds after the Chiefs won the Super Bowl. It could be. It could be when, you know, you bring tears come to your eyes because of something very special that you notice, but it's a tear of joy and peace. 
That's glimpses of the kingdom of heaven. The more you have those, the more it reveals to you that you're living and choosing the good and you have nothing to worry about in the afterlife. So choose wisely. Together, let us profess our I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. Father before all ages. Life and life, true God, true God, begotten, substantial with the Father. Through him all things. sins I earth there we go. for those who exercise the ministries of confessor and spiritual director within the church may they be granted the understanding heart of Solomon we pray to the Lord Lord, hear our prayer. For all judges, that God's wisdom will fill their hearts so that they may decide fairly for all the afflicted and reverence the value and dignity of each human life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who work in difficult, unjust conditions, seeking fair pay and a safe environment, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the family and friends of those who have died by suicide, may they be comforted in their grief and sorrow. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the children of the, our parish community, teaching adults how to trust in God's mercy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, and for all who mourn the loss of a loved one, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear Gracious God, in you we find our hearts desired of every need. Lord. As we prepare our gifts, let us sing, I want to walk as a child of the light. You may find it at number 593, number 593. a child of the light, I want to follow Jesus. God set the stars to give light to the world. The star of my life is Jesus. In him there is no darkness at all. The night and the day are 
Thanks.
in a similar way. And then he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you, for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do that in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, save you. Father, in the unity of Our Savior's command, informed by divine teeth, dare to say, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom, thy will be our trust. Christ. Let us offer to each other a sign of Christ's peace at home.
Our communion song, Seek Ye First, may be found at number 658, number 658. And it shall be given unto you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened unto you. Alleluia. Alleluia. Oh, do not live by
The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We go in peace to love and serve our Lord. As we go forth, let us sing to Jesus Christ, our Sovereign King. You may find it at number 573, number 573. Jesus Christ, our sovereign King, who is the world's salvation, our praise and homage do we bring, and thanks and adoration. Christ Jesus, victor, Christ Jesus, ruler, Christ Jesus, Lord and redeemer. Oh 